best entertainment on the earth. Tune in for Comics with Perch. Hey everybody, this is Perch. Um, here's an interesting question, all right? Comes from a listener to the show. The listener writes, hey Perch. A lot of people online complain about comics. They complain about creators. They complain about people like Tom King, Al Ewing, Dan Slott, B. Diella, the usual consortium of creators who get spicy on Twitter. Is spicy still a word? It feels like that one's going out of fashion. Anyway, sorry, back to the mail. Uh, but these people all professed to be big comic fans. They talk about how they are truly holding the torch for comics, that so they love comics, they want to see comics successful, and they are angry about people who are not taking comics seriously or bashing the customers, like Dan Slott and others like him do. However, I did this little experiment on Twitter where I looked at who they were following, and I discovered that many of the people who complain the most and talk about comics gate and talk about toxic uh, comic creators and people not respecting the industry, these people do not follow creators like Walt Simonson, Paul Smith, Chris Claremont. Does Chris Claremont have a Twitter account? I don't think he does. Anyway, uh, they don't follow comic creators that are actually not bashing the customers, not creating drama, but just trying to put things out. You recommended a while back that people follow Bob Layton. Bob Layton's Twitter account is a delight. He posts comics and art and illustrations from his portfolio and even new illustrations. Yet, when I look at, co- at fans that are following Layton, I discover that many of them, the people who are complaining the most about comics, do not follow him. Why is this? Quite frankly, it feels like most people like to complain, but don't actually support creators that are doing good work. What's up with that? Huh. All right, fair enough. I think I butchered your email a little bit, but I'm in fairness, I was at a stoplight and then I had to start driving, so I had to put the phone down. Otherwise, I'd careen into the side of the road and, you know, I granted that's a daily, you know, occurrence here in Texas, but it is what it is. By the way, when I moved down here, I, I'm still shocked by this. A lot of my friends up in Seattle are like, oh my God, you're going to go down to Texas. The girls are going to become, uh, your daughter's going to become retards down there. They're not going to, you realize that they're, they're, they, they're like five years ahead of, of Texas. And the opposite is the case. My, my daughters came down, they went to school. And for the first month or so, my wife and I worked pretty aggressively in the evening to catch my kids up. And I'm not joking. We were in very good schools in the Seattle uh, area, in the Pacific Northwest. We were in the, a good school district that was rated one of the highest in Seattle. And we moved down here, and we specifically moved to a place that was one of the highest uh, school districts in, in this area of Texas. And I'll tell you, the Texas school district is far, far, far ahead from Seattle. So I, I understand the popular narrative is that the red states and Old Texas is full of a bunch of hillbilly, you know, retards, but nope, not the case. They, uh, so I don't know. Let, let that sink in a little bit. Anyway, uh, yeah, I think, uh, so to the male's point, I think it's bullshit, and um, I think that, I, I don't know, I get frustrated because there's a lot of, uh, you know, we know what's going on in comics. There's a lot of, of authorities in comics. And, and granted, this, this predates Twitter and Facebook. If I go all the way back to the 90s, it reminds me of the people who had come into the comic shop and they were experts in what was going on. They absolutely knew best and they would be pretty aggravating to the other customers in the store. And they, you know, it, this was like the guy who was, who was convinced, I've told this story before, that the Silver Surfer was a DC character who was lost to Marvel in a card game of some, I think, poker. And, you know, that, that character became a Marvel character because somebody at Marvel won the Silver Surfer in a poker game. Now, that's obviously insane, but there's, you know, people, there's a guy who believed it and he would come in. And what was funny about it is he was, he was determined. Like, he was like, nope, this is the truth. And you're an idiot if you think anything else. You could never, ever, no matter what evidence, no matter what you could do, you could never prove him otherwise. This was what he knew. And he stuck by it. 
Um, look, I, I, I agree. Right now, if you're somebody who comes in saying Western comics are dead, Marvel's bad, SJWs, blah, 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 and if you believe that good creator behavior on Twitter is a requirement and you are not following Walt Simonson, Bob Layton, Paul Smith, um, as a few, um, then, I, you know, I, I, I'm speaking honestly, yeah, I, I don't, I think you're a bit of a hypocrite and I don't believe you. I think that your real excitement is to get hot and bothered over, you know, complaining about comics and complaining about the big two and complaining about the wokeification of Western books. But I don't believe you actually want to solve anything. And I'm, I'm pretty convinced you don't really know what woke means anyway. And you're just here to bitch because that's a popular thing to do because you've, you know, you've decided that the popular people you want to follow are complaining about this on YouTube. So you want to be part of that click. And that's what you are a follower. So, sorry, is that too blunt? I think that's what some of these people are. Because if you truly wanted good, good creator behavior, you truly wanted good, good interactions, then you'd spend more of your time promoting and helping people who are actually promising good behavior. And, you know, if, as long as I'm in for a penny, in for a pound, as long as I'm pissing off people, a lot of the folks on Twitter who complain about Marvel and DC creators being, you know, against fans and toxic are assholes on Twitter, quite bluntly, because I've been the brunt of some of these people. They, they are far from role models about good creator behavior. Um, a lot of them are dicks. If you don't fall into line with what they tell you to fall into line, you're the enemy, you're bad, you're an SJW, you're woke, you're all this other stuff, and you never hear the end of it. They will put you on blast in their videos, they will retweet you, and they will screw with you every chance they can get. Now, you know, in many cases, far beyond what a Tom King or an Al Ewing or a Dan Slott or a Vita Ayala will do. Now, in my book... All these people are garbage. All of them. If you're going to spend your time kind of attacking people and screwing with them on social media of all places while ignoring things like ship a comic book and make a good comic book. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't care really what side of the political spectrum you happen to be on. I think that, uh, you know, being a dick is being a dick. And a lot of these people are dicks. I, I understand this may be the dick that you particularly like because they're speaking your language, but they're still a dick. And I think there's plenty of people out there, a lot of people out there, that set a great example of what it means to be a comic creator, writer, artist, inker, colorist, whoever. There's plenty of people out there who are no drama, put stuff out. Bob Layton is probably one of the most, I mean, what does that guy give you on Twitter? Awesome drawings of Iron Man. That's it. Like you think you you have no idea what is Bob Layton? Bob Layton could be a Satanist Nazi or a socialist Bernie Sanders supporter or like uh, who knows what Bob Layton is. You couldn't tell from his Twitter account because what Bob Layton gives you is amazing art. Walt Simonson, amazing art. Paul Smith, amazing art. What does Paul Smith do? I, what is Paul, uh, does Paul, uh, who knows? Paul Smith could believe in, you know, uh, marrying eight-year-olds. I, I have no idea what Paul Smith is into. You couldn't tell from his Twitter account because his Twitter account stays on business. It provides artwork and drawings and sketches that, of his legendary career. That's it. So for all the people who are going, this is what we want to see comic creators do, guess what? There are some great creators out there giving you exactly that. Chris Claremont, who I do think is on Facebook, uh, produces great stuff. Things you will not find on Chris Claremont's account. Uh, bitching about Joe Biden or bitching about Trump. You will not find that stuff on his account. What you will find is pictures of him writing scripts, uh, doing kind of various stuff. I, I don't know. I'm not a big, I, I do almost zero time on Facebook. Uh, I do almost no time on, on Twitter as well, but that's, that is what you should go pay attention to. Go check it out. Um, I think that if you are concerned and uh, angry 
and make a lot of comments about uh, social media and what people do and how people behave, then you need to start supporting the people who are doing it right. And the people who are doing it right, there are several out there. Uh, Victor Bogdanovich is another one that uh, he, I occasionally write something, but by and large, his feed is about his work. Why can't we uh, promote and support more of the people who are doing this right? Instead, it feels like people have to support the assholes, the asshole on side A or this asshole on side B. And we got to go all in on that. Whereas you've got plenty, plenty of examples of people who are doing it right, trying to make the right thing happen. And uh, I mean, come on, go, go support people who are good. They're out there. Absolutely. I, uh, I, I, I share the concern. I, I look, I, I, I like you get annoyed by unprofessional jackass behavior, but I also get annoyed by the fact that when somebody does it right, there's no videos about those people. There's no praise about those people. There's no promoting those efforts. Why not? Why don't we promote the people who are doing it great? Because th there definitely are plenty that are doing it great. That's what I would like to see more of. That's what we deserve. Anyway, there you go. That's, uh, that's my little comment to you. Thank you for the mail. Thank you for the point out. And thanks for listening.